So tell me, what is a teepee doing in Norway? Is that uh, common? Yes. Why? It's most common in the northern part of the Norway. The Sami people use it, and they call it labu. That's fascinating. Let's go inside. Should, Should we go in? Yes, Can we go, go in. Into the you teepee? first. Good okay, idea. thank you. I'll go in. I like the look of this. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What? <laughs> wow! Do you Look like at it? This. this is incredible. Yeah. I'm stunned. It's beautiful. Oh, it moves. <laughs> this lavu is actually from the Sami culture, which is the indigenous culture from the Lapland region, which is way north in Norway. So Fruta and Anne Marie are using this as a welcome center. Please sit down. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Were tree houses part of your youth? Yes. When I uh, grew up, we uh, play a lot in the forest. We were only boys in the neighborhood, except um, one girl. Of course, we have to impress. So. Oh, yeah. And therefore, I built my first tree house. For yeah. her. For her. <laughs> and it was worth building it, I tell you. I actually had my first kiss in that tree house. It was not me. No, it was not. <laughs> Really? So did you did you see tree houses in books or did it come naturally? Yeah, naturally. I started yeah. uh, 12 years ago. 12 years ago, yes. okay. I've been working in this forest for about uh, 30 years. I love this area, I love this yeah. forest. So yeah. I thought we have to show people. Yeah. And the best way to show people is sitting in the tree. I love it. Fruta loves this spot so deeply, he wanted to share it with everybody. You know, in my life, it's the same thing. How can we get people to see this and feel this? Tree houses, that's the answer. I love this place so much, but are the tree houses nearby? They are close to here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. We should Come be quiet though, right? Because oh, yes. the dog is sleeping. Yeah. So you're leading me to the Sky Hut? Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> we started building a tree top hut Christmas Eve 2004. Uh, anyone thought it was too risky. Maybe people wouldn't like it, but we have built now five tree top huts. I think the Sky Hut, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Soon we come to the tree bridge. It's out there in the copse of pine. Yes. This is exciting, how beautiful. So when you're going out to the Sky Hut, we walk across this beautiful boardwalk stretching across sort of the marshland. And in the middle is this mound of pines. It looks like it's a medieval fort that could be back there, you know? You just don't know. Fruta, <laughs> yeah. you tell me, you count to three in Norwegian, okay? In Norwegian, I can. One, two, three. Wow, it's real treehouse. Yep. Holy moly. It's gotta be 25 feet up from what's already the top of a big, beautiful mound of rock. That is so beautiful. Can we go see underneath? Please, come okay. on in. Oh, and the hardware, look at your hardware. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Trees, right? Yes. I'm flabbergasted because look at this serious hardware going through living trees mm -hmm. and I can see the trees are doing fine. Steel reinforcements everywhere, big heavy duty cross bracing that was anchored on one tree going high up into the pine trees that were holding up the big beams. Structurally, man, it was great. Can I go up? Yes, you can. It's okay. Oh, wow, I love your stairs. Look at this, big, heavy duty. Perfect for climbing. I love it. <laughs> I like your railings too, nice and safe everywhere. Wow, look at this. Nature at its finest. You've got it all here. This is so beautiful. And this big deck. <laughs> Look at the roofing. Can't stand it. Everything. The wood. Yes, from here. We are inspired by what you can see in the nature, what we can find in the nature. When we are building our tree houses, we use only uh, local material from the forest here. Yeah. Shh. I want to show you one thing. Not only bird watching, but bird feeling. We're going to feed him? No, feeling. Come on. Feel. Feeling. Feeling. Bird feeling. And at that moment, I looked around, there was a chair set up right underneath the feeder. Ah. Ah. You can sit Take there. the hat off. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel the birds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love hearing the birds flying away and coming. Mm -hmm. I tucked my head underneath 
and the birds came in and could feel the flutter of the wind under their wings. What a great way to bond with nature out there. Based on the outside of this treehouse, it's just so well done that I can't even wait to get inside. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. When I went into the Sky Hut, I saw something that was so comfortable and scaled so nicely. There's a bench that wraps around the main table. And then you've got another little nook, which is the kitchen. It's just got the right size spaces. They're small, they're cozy. It's so <laughs> nice. And they're totally original. In the little cubby hole, you can have a little nap. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. The two of them work together so well. There's a perfect blend between interior design and structure. You just instantly want to crawl up into it and have a nap. You've got this great floating table, right? Yeah. This is in all of the tree top huts. The trees are moving, stairs are moving, the whole thing. The whole thing <laughs> moves. We especially like when we can use a thing for multiple purposes, like the stairs can carry the table. Tree houses automatically create these intimate spaces, mm. and then you actually talk and you share mm. an experience together with someone else. It's probably the best part about a tree house. I think the best part is being so in, middle, in the middle of the nature, so close to everything. No noise at all, so we can hear your own breathing. Yeah, it's like the whole forest is breathing. Yes. Mm. Yes. I think no we matter. Have, we have something common. We do, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like they're kindred spirits. They have created a space that is so intimate, real, and up in the trees, and it's beautiful. So Let's go upstairs. I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> this is a beautiful <laughs> way to get up there, too. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the skylights. We are so far away from city lights here, and you can see millions of stars. <laughs> it's perfect. That's the meaning. I love it. <laughs> when you crawl up into the loft, you've got these two enormous skylights that give you an unfiltered view of the northern lights at night. And the other window's looking out onto that beautiful marsh, and you can tell why it's called the Sky Hut. Fruta, I have to tell you, I have seen at least 500 tree houses. Okay. This tree house is top five. Oh, are you serious? The way that you pay attention to the, the reality of things moving, just to be literally in nature like this. We have to show the world. This is a great way to live. It goes to my heart. Thank you. It's not any one thing. It's a combination of all these things. I mean, it's got location. It's got height. It's got structure. It's got coziness and warmth. It's beautiful from every angle. It's perfection. <laughs>